Well, Grant, another victory, another four goals away from home uh, and another very happy manager, I imagine. Yeah, I thought we were good. I thought we were very good, you know, and I said during the week um, to yourselves that it was a good start, the three wins. Now it's a great start. But no one's getting carried away. Like I say to you every week, it's, um, yeah, we have, we have won four in a row, but we need to make sure we dust ourselves down now. I'm, I'm more disappointed with the goal we conceded, to be honest. I, I said to the boys at half time, I said, clean sheet. I want a clean sheet here. We haven't had one yet. Um, so I was disappointed that we lost the goal. Um, and I just said to the lads, it's not, it's not an individual losing it, it, it's a team because we do things together. We keep each other switched on, we score together, we lose together, we win together, we draw together. So I was disappointed with that, but something we need to iron out. That's the real sticking point. And I, I saw you uh, remonstrating with the fourth official because Jonathan Bond let it go. Yeah. Do you feel it was a goal kick? No, I think, to be fair, from where I was, it looked like a goal kick, but Michael Doherty came off and said it touched his foot, so no complaints. And it was another wonderful away form. It took a while to sort of get going. The game seemed scrappy at times. And once you got that breakthrough, you know, plain sailing from there, really, just just, just went on, got the second quickly. Yeah, well, I knew, I knew we're, listen, like I've said to you before, we're, we're, we're quick on the break. You know, the front three we've got can, can run, they can shift, they can score goals. All three of them scored today. Um, and, they're, and they're helping each other. You know, they're working together. But he had that, you know, Guion and Leo. Guion's notched another goal today. You know, it's the second one for him for the season as well. Um, it was just a really good team performance. Um, I thought the fans were tremendous. I thought the fans drove us on um, from minute one. You know, to see so many of them here and, and for us to send them home happy was, was our aim at the start of it. And how delighted are you as well for, for Junior Marias grabbing a goal? Because he's put in lots of work over the past couple of games. <clears throat> maybe seen a few chances that, that could have gone in, haven't. But he's got the goal again this afternoon. I knew, it, I knew it was just a matter of time. I said during the week it's a matter of time before Junior starts scoring again. Um, and you know the goal he done there, we, we worked on it, David worked on the strikers yesterday about rolling centre-halves and shooting and it was nice to see it come to the four today. Um, but it was a, listen, all round, really good performance. Um, we got to dust ourselves off, we'll be back in tomorrow morning. Um, you know, we, we need to make sure we, we, we get a, a foot into the uh, into the next round in the checker trade on Tuesday. And one thing that summed it up this afternoon, Idris Khan, who come on, second half substitute, I think it was 4-1 at the time, 94th minute, he's down in the right back position, mm. doing some defensive work. You, that must make you really proud on the sidelines to see work rate like that. Yeah, I, listen, I was proud of my team today. I, I, without individuals, you know, naming anybody, you know, that I, I'm proud of my team. But one thing I, I, I was really pleased to see was Jermaine Anderson getting back on the pitch. Um, the lads had a terrible time over the last 18 months with, with two cruciate injuries. Um, and for him to come on today, you know, the lads just give him a big round of applause in the change room. Um, great to see him back because when he's fit, what a, what a hell of a player we've got. That must have been a, a good moment for you, a good bonus to know that you could throw him on in that situation and, and give him, what was it, five, six minutes? Yeah, well, he had more than that. I think there was, the I think there was, six, I think there was six minutes injury time. Um, so he had a good, you know, 12 to 15 minutes on there. So uh, it was good for Jermaine. You know, now we need to try and push him and try and get him some minutes again, a, a little bit more minutes against Southampton on Tuesday. And he's come back quicker, quicker than expected? Yeah, he has. And, and that's credit to John and, and Ben. Um, he, that's the first little bit of competitive football. He hasn't even played in the 23 game. Um, but I thought, you know what, it's, there's no better place to, to do it on a local derby. Um, uh, you know, to come on and get some minutes. We possibly could have played him during the week in a, in a 23 game. We didn't bother. Um, we got him on today, and now we'll try and push his minutes up a little bit more on Tuesday. And in the second half, Justin Edwards seemingly going for it, going 4-4-2, pushing the full-backs on, and it left you two-on-two two up mm. front. That's how you obviously exploited the, the third goal. Key to that was the wonderful passes from, from Marcus Madison. Obviously, I know the transfer window closes this week. He's out of contract. Much has been said. Is it, is it key for you that you keep hold of him? We'll try. We'll try. Um, you know, it's a case of sitting down with Marcus and, and having a chat with him and see what he wants to do. But um, you know, he's, he's such a special talent, isn't he? You know, and, um, but like you say, when you go back to them pushing their fullbacks on, you know, we worked on in training yesterday. We worked on in playing a three. We worked on in playing a four, um, and it was clear. It was it was obvious that we, you know, you could see that we worked on that, and we had to because I wasn't quite sure what formation they'd play today. Um, but they, you know, I thought we, uh, we dealt with everything fine. I know you want to keep grounded, but four wins in four, top of the league as well. All the other teams with a 100% record have dropped points today, sitting on top of the table. A long way to go, but it's been a stunning start. It has. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a very good start, you know, and uh, we've got to make sure we, we, we keep our foot in the pedal now. You know, and the cup game for me is, is just as important as today. Um, we, we played against Norwich last year and possibly me, myself, I took the, I took the competition a little bit lightly. Um, I won't be. 
you know, my remit is to try and win the competition and uh, we will be strong on Tuesday as well. And as well as keeping hold of Marcus, maybe, do you expect to bring anyone else in? Not that it looks like you need it on this performance, but, but do you expect there's been much much activity? No. Um, I think we made a mistake last year around about this at this, this stage. You know, little things I learn as a manager and I probably won't be doing the same again, well, definitely won't be doing the same again this year, is we brought three in at this stage last year. Three good players, but I think it just upset us. We had a half-decent start again, not as good as this last season, um, but we had a half-decent start. And then when we brought the three in close to the deadline, I don't think we won for four games. I think we had three draws and a defeat. And so it's uh, it's important we the groups the groups together now. Um, they don't need anything else coming in upsetting it, um, unless one or two move on, which I'm hoping they don't.